Input, keyboard and trackpad. Enable Live View by tapping the display button so we can see it in action. Long press on it will fit the image to your device screen. Tap the button at the bottom to display the native iOS keyboard. Use it to type on your computer. Tap on the microphone icon to use dictation to type on your computer. The top two rows of buttons above the keyboard are modifiers and navigation keys. Swipe left on them to get to function keys. Tap on the text button for more ways to enter text, like typing full strings. Enter username and password from my cloud keychain and paste text from the clipboard. You can use the Save Screenshot button. Next to the Live View button to save the screenshot of your screen to photos on your device. Tapping the last button in this row of buttons will show Launchpad. Next are Mission Control buttons. Use arrows to switch between spaces and button in the middle to show Mission Control. At the bottom, you have mouse buttons that simulate left, middle, and right clicks. Long press will lock the button in the press state so you can swipe to select text or drag windows. Tap on it to release it. Also, you can use a single tap for the left click, tap with two fingers for the right click, and with three fingers for the middle click. You can also use the long press to hold the modifier key to use a keyboard for shortcuts, for example, Command A, to select all. Swipe up and down on the scroll bar on the left side to scroll long documents. Alternatively, you can use the whole screen to swipe with two fingers to scroll up and down, left and right. If you need a little bit more space, shake your device to hide the top and bottom bars, and shake again to restore them. More button at the top includes information about the gestures and input settings to customize how the input tab looks and works.